Thank you for downloading the Wado Radio Podcast. If you love what you're hearing, leave a review on iTunes. We'd love to hear your feedback, and it helps expose others to the show. Thank you, and God bless. This podcast is brought to you by Covenant Eyes. The internet can be a dangerous place for unguarded eyes and hearts. Covenant Eyes provides the services that protect against the evils and temptations that can be found on the World Wide Web. Visit WadoRadio.com slash resources for more information about our affiliate, Covenant Eyes. Everybody lends an ear. I want to thank you in advance for letting us make it clear to y'all. It's DJ Wado, of course. We are with the OG. Yeah. I gotta call him Pastor I'm, Ken I'm Jones now. I'm an OG now. now. That's what that hey, means. You old, bro. No, man, you been an OG though, bro. <laughs> you pioneered so much stuff in this scene, bro. Bro, I just took a lot of chances. You was an OG even when you was like 21 in this joint, <laughs> bro. Just took a lot of chances. Got beat up a lot. That's all. Hey, man, but we thankful you did it though. Praise you God. opened so many doors for all the rest of us. Praise them. God. Amen. Amen. Okay, so I, I, I gotta. I want to start with this. I got a lot of stuff I want to ask you, but I gotta start with this. All right. How was? The Stellar Wars, the first time you won a Stellar, bro. Man, amazing. How did that happen, though? Um, ama- I, I, don't, I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm serious, bro. I, I, um, I had um, entered my music in 2009. Um, that was the last time that I had been nominated for a Stellar. My dad was still alive at that time. Wow. I was nominated for eight Stellars that year. Wow. Uh, and I lost every last one of them. So... You know, me, I'm a sore loser. I hate to lose anything. Checkers, sure. trouble, anything. Connect bro. for it. Yeah, that's it. So <laughs> so I didn't enter my music again, to be honest. You wow. know, I had a I had a real attitude with the situation. I didn't so we were performing, but I still didn't enter my music. Wow. You see what I'm saying? And so I don't know how they got my music. I just found out that I was nominated. And uh, me and my wife was going to see, because uh, the, the show is out in Vegas now. Okay, yeah. Uh, yep. Me and my wife, yep. uh, they, they uh, have a pre-show to the to the main stellars. And so we were like, man, you know, it's the time. We got four kids. You know, we're out in Vegas, baby. Let's just kick it. You know, they're going to announce our name. But, you know, like just like all the other years, we're not going to win. Let's just... Let's just go kick it. So, so you weren't even there? Went, so yeah. Bizzle. Bizzle called and say, bro, where you at? Because <laughs> we're in the same. That, that's what I love about Christian hip hop, man, because brothers are brothers. Yeah. And even though we're in the same category, we're going against each other. He's he's holding me accountable. Like, I'm here. Where, where you are at? you? Where are you at? So Biz called me. So I was like, man. So I really felt convicted. Like, little bro called me like, man. So. I had a suit. I just got dry clean. It was in the back seat. Wow. I pulled over in some office part and changed right there in the, in the car <laughs> and ran and, 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 and went to the um, to the war show. It was halfway over when we were walking in. Maybe five minutes later, me and my wife and I walked in and, and one of my buddies from Atlanta came came with us. Well, he didn't come with us. He kind of met us, which is a part of this story too. It's kind of crazy, but anyway, we walked in, and we were sitting there, and they and they called our category, and they called my name. Wow. Now, I didn't enter into this, so I don't even know how they got my project. Sure, sure. But it's just the hand of God to say, when it's your time, it's your time. That's it. And so I was super shocked all the way up there. I had nothing prepared to say. Um, I was honestly thanking God and really just trying not to be crying and stuff like that you know what i'm saying I, because when god says it's your time it's your time that's it you know you can't you can't even i mean you just have to be faithful to that time comes and so uh stupid story to it is um i'm sitting here and one of my guys i won't call his name <laughs> is sitting with us and my wife is sitting next to me so they call my name like can't jump i'm like oh oh lord baby they just called my name take my phone Right, and, and and dude is sitting on the other side of her. He's like, "Hey, bro, hey, bro, you want me to go with you?" <laughs> I'm like, "No, nah. I'm like, no, nah, bro, you good? I got it, I got it." So I'm walking up. He's like, "I'm gonna go with you." So I'm walking, and this I can't say the word is behind me, <laughs> walking up. So. At the same time, I'm in a maze and disgust. Like, come on, bro. This is my first stellar letter. Let me have my moment. Let me have, Let me have my moment. Let me have some walk. <laughs> Let me have a couple steps. So if you see, if you go through the history of of, of, of Stella, of uh, Stella pictures, you'll see this one guy, three people in in, in a formal attire, 
one cat with a sweater on, a red sweater, with a book bag because he had been peddling CDs. He had just got kicked out of place uh, for peddling CDs and kept saying he was with Kent Jones. And so, anyway, long live 2.0. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> my wife's like, she in the back, like, why did you say it's like? But he, they, they were my little brother. And uh, it was an awesome, 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 awesome moment, man. And, and then uh, on Mother's Day, um, I surprised my mom with it. Mm. We, we had a dinner for at her favorite restaurant. And the guys brought it out on a platter as if it was dessert. Wow. And uh, and I say, Mom, I present to you. I can't give it to Dad, but I present to you my, my the ones that supported me from day one, literally, yeah. uh, my first stutter. And, and uh, it's on my Instagram. She... She 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 cried, man. It was it was awesome. It was awesome, and so that's my that's my stellar moment. You know, it's uh, amazing. You bro. know, so God is awesome, man. Definitely Thank well deserved. Most people associate you with Atlanta. Yeah, right. I'm but from you're originally Florida, from Florida. Bro. Yes, sir. Originally from Florida, and um, I know you and your father were super tight, man. Yeah. You know, one of the things that whenever I think about you, this is the honest truth, bro. I always think about. How you and your dad were working on music. Yep. You were working on putting the album out. Yep. I remember you telling me that in the interview. Yep. We about to put my dad album out. Yep. And then obviously he you passed. Know, yep. You 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 weren't able to do that, man. Just just talk about growing up, man. The influence he had. I know he was a pastor. Oh uh, yeah, man. Um, <clears throat> a lot of cats don't have, especially in this generation, don't even know what a father is, man. Absolutely. And um, didn't didn't have that father. You know, sometimes if you didn't have a father, you got a father figure or uncle or something like that. But I had a a real real man of God. My dad mm -hmm. was a a pool guy. He he did pools. We're from Florida. Everybody had a pool, and um and so he did pools for a living. That was his occupation. And we had a quartet group, and if you know anything about quartets, you got to have heirs like Christian heirs, Jackson Southern heirs, uh, Tompkins heirs. You got so we were the noble heirs, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> straight, straight like that. So I grew up singing quartet. Yeah. And um, my dad, you know, when I was playing football, every time after the game, he would come, he would come to the game, and then take us to go sing, mm. and we would go sing and. That's kind of how we built our relationship. I don't think we kicked it a lot before seven, eight years old because wow. it would work so much. It was working. You know what I'm saying? But um, one of the lead singers um, had to be somewhere, and, they, and and I would come to all the practices, and they would ask, do you want to sing? I'm like, yeah, you know. Do you want to be the leader of the group? Wow. Uh, really? Okay, cool. So I was the guy out front. Hey, hey guys, uh, m my name is Canton. I'm with the Noble Airs. We're going to sing an A and B selection. We're coming to you from Deerfield Beach, Florida, uh, and we're going to present our songs to you. Uh, our intro is, because you gotta, had to have an yeah, intro, intro song, right? you know, that you came in on, and, and I was that little guy singing, wow with my dad and so uh man he would always encourage me uh bought my first equipment from um pawn shop you know we were pawn shop people you know it, like if we saw it then we know that there was another version of it in the pawn shop so well uh, i bought I built my whole studio in the pawn shop when we were growing up and dad was just so supportive of everything that i did and i did a lot from basketball football uh was trying to uh be in his group then trying to have my own little group and i had a little rap group and everything i never uh got any pushback he was always supportive wow you know and and, and so um i always when i started kind of really really doing it full time i wanted him to feel what i was feeling sure like daddy man i just went to russia man i just went to africa i just went to poland man i done been all over the world with this music like come with her come come, come with, with me come you know what i'm us. saying and so um i had an opportunity to do a tour with him yeah i had an opportunity to uh take him on the road um one of the funny stories is his he had he came out he for some reason he had leather pants um, I'm like, Daddy, you he from that era, though. He from yeah. that era. You got to let him. He from that era. But the pants were too long, so so it was like, what? What you want us to do? Take you to a, a, seam, a seamstress? You want to find? I mean, we're not in our town, so we don't know what to do. He was like, go to Home Depot. Home Depot? Man, my daddy duct taped them pants, bro. Yeah, straight <laughs> duct tape him. So if you don't know anything about a duct tape him, you wait. On the leather See, pants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Clean. Um, and, and that was just my pop, man. So, uh, so when... When he went home, you know, I talked to you about that, yeah. man. It, it took a while yeah. for me to get over yeah. that situation, yeah. you know. But there's nothing like a dad to um, to establish you. He was a pastor. He was a man of God. But but some it's a, it's different 
than being a pastor and a pastor to your kids. Mm. A lot, a lot of pastors don't know how to pastor their kids. They know yeah. how to pastor the church. They don't know how to pastor their home. Yeah. You know, and so my dad was a pastor at home. I, I, you know, all the kids respected his wisdom. We we still live by some of his sayings today. One of the things that I live by, my wife jokes with me about, uh, is when I'm nervous and feel like I'm outside. Like, man, I should do I should do worship here because these are worship people. Mm -hmm. You know, they don't want to hear no hip hop. These are worship people because I, I do work praise and worship too. And um, oh, you kill the praise and worship though. And and he tells me. Do what you do. They brought you here to do what you do. So don't get yeah. nervous about what you do. He's like, so his country saying was, do what you do and don't do what you don't do. Yeah. And I was like, okay, that's profound, but that's real. So, so don't get outside your lane. Don't even be nervous to try to make something up. Just do what you do. And and that confidence to just hear dad's voice, um, you know, is, is is the reason why, man, we still kicking. You know, we still at it. We still doing it. And, and, and God is faithful, man. Yeah. All these years, I've always told you I wasn't going to hold this against you. Ah. Being that you was a Morehouse man, and ah. I'm, a, I'm a Howard grad. That's right. <laughs> but That's right. <laughs> how, how'd, you, how'd you get to Morehouse, bro? Uh, man, a um, friend of mine, I was trying to come to Atlanta I, um, to do music. That was my goal. I had three, uh, three choices, L.A., New York, mm. and Atlanta. Wow. Um, I'm from Deerfield Beach, which is near Fort Lauderdale, Miami. And so I wanted to get out of Florida. You know, I've been there all my life, but I wanted to go f far enough. Um, so I felt like, okay, L.A. was too far from yeah. Florida. You only coming back twice a year, bro. <laughs> Christmas and Christmas and Christmas if, and summer. If That's that, it. That's you know. It. And so I felt like New York was too cold. Yeah. You know, I was like, man, it's just that's just too much snow. So I settled with Atlanta. Um, I had family there as well, and um, and so now, how do I get there? I was a pretty good student in class, uh, in school, in high school, but um, I applied to Georgia Tech and they turned me down. And they turned me down too. They really? I tried. Okay, they so me down so too, here so we, we go. Good. So okay, we good. God. We good. And we good. Uh, they turned me down because um, I missed uh, their, I guess their standards on the SAT by like ten points, and mm. I took it again. Wow. I took it again. And and, and, and and made the score, but I got, like I said, I hate to lose, so I get in my feelings, I was like, forget it. I'm good. <laughs> and so um, my dude was like, I was like, man, so where you going to school? I, I never forget this, we're in, we're in high school, we're in the hallways, where you going to school? Man, I'm going to this place like Morehouse. I'm like, Morehouse? He was like, yeah, man, Martin Luther King went there. I was like, really? He was like, it's all dudes, though. I was like, oh, no, I'm, I ain't going to all dudes school. He was like, but all girls is like right there. It's like, and then he was like, you remember Different World? You know, Cosby Show, Different World. He was like, yeah. It was yeah, like, man. it's like that. I was like, really? Okay, bet. And then he had the application in his book bag. Wow. So I filled it out. I mean, you know, I uh, had an audition because I, I got in through the music scholarship. And the rest is history. That's how I got here. And uh, But I got here to do music. I mean, I wasn't really focused on school. My mom was like, you better finish. You know, and I finished. I did graduate with a business degree. Um, but I was focused on this music. Ever mm -hmm. since I got in Atlanta, I was I was about music. So did you? I always wondered this because I, I wasn't sure about the timeline. Because I actually heard about you after this happened. Mm -hmm. Did your first album come, and then you started doing worship at World Changers? Um, or I, what was the order? The order was um, I did an independent album. That's what I'm talking about. The indie uh, the album. Uh, it was the called Twenty, 20 Years. years. Yeah. The 20, I got so that, that was yeah. that was before World Changers. Okay. And then, I mean, my because my story is, you know, I was doing mainstream. <clears throat> I was trying to be a producer. I didn't yeah. really want to do, be an artist. Yeah. You know, I wanted to be a producer and produce other artists. And so we ran into, uh, I was doing this uh, showcase in this club. But it was a Christian promoter um, in the club. And uh, Hence I, where the song came from, right? <laughs> right. You know, so, well, <laughs> So so uh, so I'm like okay, um, so I, I sang I think I, I sang one of my R&B songs, two of my R&B songs, but I did a gospel um, acapella, mm. and then he was like, hey bro, I got this deal that I'm working with with a major record label, and we need another artist to complete the deal, and this is what we're going for and all of that, and I was like, oh sh yeah, I mean. My comment was, I, I was born and raised in church. I could do gospel for that money. 
You know what I'm saying? That's I, I, I'm just giving it 100. So I was like, okay, I, I, I feel like I could write some some gospel music. And so I started writing. And I started studying the word to mm, write good music. To write the music. Then it changed your heart. It changed my life. Look at bro. that, man. And so, um, and then I uh, finished that record. And um, I was shacking with that lady right there. You know, old people call it shacking. We was living out of wedlock for like three years. She would not let me go. You no, know, I'm just, I'm joking. She looking at me. <laughs> but, uh, and then we um, had a humble wedding, which was the most beautiful thing that ever happened in my life. And uh, started going to church. She was going to Creflo Dollar Church. Yep. And start taking me there and just start getting the word and start working with the youth, actually. Yeah, okay. I, start, I started working with the youth. Um, and one of our songs that we would we would do, which is uh, one of the songs I, I I've been doing over the years, was um, "Password." There's no other yeah. name. Yeah. Oh yeah. And so that was one of our big songs with the youth. And then I started. I didn't. I, I was probably with um, World Changes probably three or four years before before I even started doing praise and worship. Wow. With in the in the dome. Or wow. And, and, and going around traveling. Yeah. You know that happened in two thousand and. I don't know six or something, something like, like that. that yeah. And uh, but we had, we had been a part of the, the ministry for a while by then. Wow. And so, um, I think just God was just getting me ready, and I, and I even hear like in this part of my life that every experience that I've had thus far is getting ready to be a part of what what this big work that God is getting ready yeah. to make me do. Yeah. And so it, it, it was awesome. World changes. Has always been great for us, our, our, for our career, the platform. It, was, it, it really took us to the next level. Um, but God has been faithful to us, man. I've always felt like each one of your albums, you always brought something new mm -hmm. to the to the game, to the table. Mm -hmm. um, but I really felt like Kingdom Business, mm -hmm. that first one, bro, like that solidified something, man. It just like it almost just ushered in a whole new era Amen. in this whole urban scene, bro. Like. What was what what was some of the stuff that you were dealing with yeah. just on a personal level? I can't I can't just say it out loud. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that. I mean, it was war. Yeah. Um. Um. Creatively, um. We had. I. I. I feel like I'm. I just. I just want to do something different all the yeah. time. Yeah. Um. Want to be as creative as I could be musically. Um. And so, Kingdom Business. Um, was when I got a revelation of what the kingdom was. Yep. Um, you know, ironically, we're at the Kingdom Choice Awards. So, there you go. Um, when people were talking <clears throat> kingdom, kingdom, I got it, but I didn't get it. And um, that year, I had to preach in Miami. We, we were at T.D. Jake's church the night before, and I was asleep. And um, it's almost like this body fell on me in the middle of the night, and I woke up. Three o'clock in the morning, my wife's sleep, and my eyes are bloodshot red. I'm, 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 my tears are, my, my, I got tears in my eyes, but I'm not crying. Mm. So it's just like, what in the world is going on? And I was like, I understand. Wow. The kingdom is ah. And so when I understood it, it just exploded in me. The work exploded in me. The movement exploded in me. Um, we just started doing so many things. Um, you know, just trying to get people to understand what it was, you know. And, and you put and, on a lot of artists, though. Right. Over those, you know, like Kingdom Business 2, Kingdom mm -hmm. Business 3, like so many artists that you. Because that was a part of one one yeah. thing about it is uh, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added. And so uh, when you're trying to spread the kingdom, when you're trying to spread it out, I felt like, man, signing one artist at a time is going to take too long. So let me just do compilations and put on that many people on at people. one time. So that was that was my mindset of doing the compilations. So the first kingdom business turned into a compilation that I just wanted to help people because I felt like that's what the kingdom is about. Lighting torches, helping people, doing this, you know, and, and there was just so many principles that I was learning. And so, uh, uh, you know, on the other side of that, we went, we had fights, bro. It was it was it was fights, things happening. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that uh, you know, you you can't really go public with, but you sure. know, you just really just Jesus. You know, why in the world am I going through this? You know, and uh, and so Kingdom Business was a birth for us, just a new era. But you know, um, this this last, I guess I guess I guess when it comes to Kingdom Business, 
there was such a fight during that project. I'm talking about creatively. I'm talking about from the from the pictures. I mean everything. From well, the, I was going to say that was I mean, that was in an era when there was this big debate about word of faith theology yeah. and prosperity gospel yeah. and reform theology and and all of that and you know what I mean? Yeah, and I and see, I didn't debate guys, man, because I don't really debate. It was you smart. Know what I'm that was wise. I just, I just don't debate. It's like. Theologians debate well sure. You know People who study that Like I'm like Man I don't know Jesus just saved me bro. That's all I know I'm like the blind man I don't know about all that All I know is I was blind And now, and now I, I can see <laughs> That's it That works for me yeah. Give me the sight You ain't gotta explain How it happened yeah. You know what I'm saying And so I think um, For for And one The technicalities of it Made people Who didn't understand The technicalities of it Frustrated And they just like Man I think selling drugs Are a lot easier <laughs> You know what I'm saying And so we just tried to, to dumb it down Hey man Get in the presence of God Whatever he tell you to do That's what you do Get into a relationship with God He's going to start To speak to your spirit And obey him And y'all go and have Y'all relationship And y'all go do that Now get into a, 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 a Wherever God leads you To get the word That's where you go You know And and, and not necessarily uh Putting people in hell for certain things so sure. much, and so um, th that debate. But we never debate. I never debated. Even when people tried to debate with me, I just kind of didn't. It, I was like, man, why would I debate with you about something that's working for me? Mm. Why would I get into an argument with you about something that's working for you and trying to change what's working for you, and you trying to change what's working for me? Keep doing what you're doing, and I'm gonna keep doing what I'm doing, and that's and that's fine. And so. I, I really didn't get into a lot of, a lot of debates with guys. Not even that I'm, um, I'm more into the word and know a lot more than I knew then about the word. Still won't get into a debate. Sure. You know, the Bible is for living. It's not for debate. You know, uh, is, is the thing that you're arguing about, are you applying it to your life and does it work? That's it. If it works, do it. If it doesn't work, then what you debating about? You're debating about something that you don't even believe yourself because it doesn't work for you. And so, what are we arguing about? That's good. And so, um, we need to, you know, there, there, to me, there's no debate. It's just do what God tell you to do, you know, and 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 you know, and go from there. And so, um, <clears throat> there's just too many ways to, to. Uh, I mean, God. I mean, G God has so many ways. You know, the healings are not even the same. So you can't. There is no one way to do it. You know, he he'll he'll, he'll do this to heal the blind, and then he'll do do something totally different for the same result. And so he's switching it up. I'm not trying to predict what God. I'm just telling whatever you tell me to do. That's what I'm gonna do. And I'm and I'm and I'm kind of simplifying that for my life because the deeper you get into the Word, you could get more and more revelation. But you don't want to make up. Uh, new hindrances for baby Christians. Sure. No, bro, you need to fast. Instead of fasting, God told you to fast three days. No, no, son. Fast 20 days. 21 <laughs> or, or go on the Daniel fast. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like, man, I only have faith to do it. Like, Work your faith, bro. Work your faith. Do it. Do what God is telling you to do. And so, that's even as a as a new pastor, that's kind of what we're encouraging people to do. No, that's good, man. I I, I definitely want to talk to you about your church, man. Um, ah. I I was totally not surprised when I heard you planted a church, bro. Uh, you should have told me then. Nah, <laughs> man. I always you always had that that. I mean, look, you just the way you even described the kingdom business, putting people on, pouring into people. You always had artists that you were putting on, mm. pouring into all of that stuff. It, it, I mean. I, I I came in not wanting to be the head guy, sure. that, which is which is weird. But what I didn't, I I I, I wanted to be um, when I first rededicated my life and started with the youth at World Changes. I found five people. My wife can tell you, I found five people to produce because mm -hmm. that that was my drive. Yeah, um, produce, and then I started working with the kids. I was producing. Albums and records and stuff and um, my, matter of fact, he's here tonight. The first guy uh, I did three songs on this guy named Mouthpiece. Wow! Before I even re rededicated, sure. before I even got married, we were still in Buckhead with the studio, baby. And so, um, he, I did three songs on him because I just wanted to produce. I, I just like sitting down and producing the music. Um, 
I didn't know you produced for Mouthpiece, bro. Well, before he, um, way before, like yeah, way yeah, before, yeah. but yeah, but Mouth, you know, Mouth is on Kingdom Business. Sure. And so um, he's always been one um, that I used to love lyrically, like, man, you're a beast, you're a monster, you know, and I'm, and I'm always, as a producer, I'm a fan of artists. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I've never been a hater. I'm always like, what did God give you? Like, oh, that's amazing, them lyrics, whatever, and, and we want to put it together. So I think because... How I how I got hired at World Ch World Changes to be the youth praise and worship leader. It made me kind of be out front to lead them, you know. But I was kind of leading them for an example to say, okay, it's your go next, yeah, you know. And kind of that was discovered, and I just hadn't been able to sit down since, you know. But my heart, and still my heart, is to produce uh, men and women. Um, you know, and really do these crazy projects, man, that, you know, take them to the top. I'm good. I, I like to be home with the kids. You know, my, my I, I'm a basketball coach for my my daughter right now. My son, you know, I want to give him pointers on football. He He's eight. So I like I like the homebody chill yeah. thing. I just never had a chance to do that, you know. Yeah. And so I um, remember we talked about that on the road one yeah, time, bro. Yeah. I never forget that conversation because yeah. it convicted me so much. Wow. You know what I mean? Wow. Yeah. 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 And my kids, you know, I wanted to. I, I just didn't want other people raising my kids. Sure. You know what I'm saying? And I wanted. Sure. I didn't want them to grow up saying that daddy wasn't there. But my. But God has figured out a way. And giving me a way to, to juggle the situation. One, my wife controls everything, and so it's her fault if I don't go to the piano recital. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It, it, you know, you because, blame her. Yeah, <laughs> because I mean, if that if there's an outside manager, he's trying to. The, the more I work, the more he gets paid. Sure. You know, and the, so inside, my wife handling it. You know, we got it. You know, the light bills are due now. But you know I need to be at this football game too, so we figured out a, a great balance on how to juggle the situation, yes. so that I can I can do what I need to do for my family and do what do what God has called me to do, and so it's 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 work, man. It's it, I think I, I I think I'm super blessed, man, to have a wife to handle my business. Sure, you know, um, you know, even even in arguments, you got to go back and talk to her because she got the flight information. <laughs> Wait up! You can't get mad and do the silent treatment, bro. <laughs> you done missed you the engagement. You miss flight, bro. <laughs> so you go, hey man, hey, hey. What time the flight leave, man? <laughs> you know That's, what I'm good. That's funny. <laughs> so uh, you know, it forces us to keep communicating, and uh, we're going on 16 years of marriage, bro. <sighs> Congratulations! Yeah. Thank brother. you, bro. Congratulations, straight OG, man. right? Yo, um, I think one of your proteges that is buzzing hard right now 1k oh yeah yeah 1k man talk yeah. to us so about proud him, of 1k man. uh 1k and his mom when i planned it uh started the church well actually um uh tonio brought 1k to really? me when okay. i was a youth pastor at um at a southern baptist church remember i was yeah a, yeah i remember that i was a youth I pastor that. at a predominantly white uh, <laughs> organization i didn't know if you wanted to talk about that that bro. was awesome i mean i talk about it yeah. it was an awesome experience you know and and i love the great people great people yeah. and so when i was a youth pastor there um tonio saw 1k and brought him to me over there and um and so when i started to do the church plant his mom and his dad um, was uh, in my prayer meetings, and she would bring him to the prayer wow. meetings as well. And so they, um, when I say literally day one, it was 1K, his mom, his dad, Tonio, his daughter, wow. his sister, his mom, uh, and uh, Riri, which was the girl that my, I, you know, and, and, you know, and they helped to establish Free Life, my church. Sure. And so uh, 1K, his mom was like, wherever you go, we go. That's what because she said regular church, which they call regular church, is not working for my son. Mm. It worked for you know, it's not working for him. Mm. You know, and so um I have a fear that he's gonna get caught up out there. Yeah. And so um I need something for him. So, you know, I know over time our what we do may not be for the uh, the older ones, but they know that is for their kids, sure. or that's definitely their sons. And so, uh, so proud of him. He was on my last project. Um, 
um, uh, I am Justice. You know, every time mm -hmm. I have a kid, I, I do a record. So my last baby, his name is Justice. So um, I did the that. Millionaire, yeah, I am did, Justice. Yeah, yeah. Love Jones. <laughs> yep. All my kids have a record. Yep. So um, and and so uh, so proud of. Uh, he's a workhorse. Sure. You know, one K put out a record of, of every week, if you let him. You know, and and so. Um, lyrically, it's just spewing out of him, and, and so proud of him because he works hard for it. He's not, uh, a, an, not an arrogant kid. Very humble kid. Very creative kid. Got dumb swag, you know. And so we we're very proud of him. And as and as a, as a pastor and a mentor, you know, um, somebody asked me, um, is 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 he changing? Now that he's being put on no he's not changing but i expect him to be busy yeah. and i want him to go away sure you know what i'm saying because sure. i i know that life yeah you know and, and sometimes when people don't know that life they don't understand that he has to go yeah. he got to be busy he can't call you as much or you don't come around as much man a man in vegas yeah. like let him work let, let him, him work. let him grow and let him be great you know what i'm saying and so um i think i think with uh with his development man that it's our job you know, me to home, you know, as much as I can to be there as his pastor and his brother, whenever he needed advice, he come to me, you know. Before he knew Lecrae, he was asking me about that situation. Wow. Like, look, they're going to, I told him personally, they're going to take care of you. Yeah. You need to go there. Yeah. You need to take care of that situation. And regardless of what people, this thing about, you know, over the years about that, it, that's never been there uh, sure. with me in 116. Yeah. Well, and, uh, not on my end, yeah. you know, and I was like, that's per that's a perfect situation for you, boy. Go, yeah. you know, ask for this, do this, do this, do this, do this, do this, go, you know, and he did it. And I always wish you and Lecrae would have done a song together at some point. I don't think it's over, you know, I don't think it's over. I don't, one, we had uh, uh, one of the biggest snowstorms in Atlanta fell on the day we had a session. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Which I had two inches of snow. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it, it was, uh, what? It, it wasn't a lot of, well, it was two or three. Y'all get but, a dust but in the look, city shut down. But look, look, they was trying to hold out this year. Yeah. And end up buses sliding down hills. Dang. And yeah, it, it was, That's it was crazy. horrible. Yeah, it, some, crazy. some elementary school kids couldn't go home. They was there for 24 hours. So it was, it was a horrible situation yeah. and we couldn't drive. And so um, I was like, man, golly, the one day we would get together, bro. Like, that I'm not, I, I, I do hope you, I, I, yeah. I do like, honestly, bro, I, I think musically, yeah, it, it yeah. would be crazy. It would be insane. Yeah. But I think even just for the body of Christ, man, yeah. and all the stuff we talked about, yeah. it would still be massive. Yeah, bro. it would be awesome. It and I, I think just to kill assumptions, there, there's nothing there. I mean, Lecrae's yeah. my brother. He's been my yeah. brother for years. We, You know, we talk on and off. He's busy. I'm busy. Of course, you know he's very busy. And um, and But this thing, you I know. I think it was more the fans, bro. I, don't think, I, I, I never personally thought it was. Really? Y'all. Yeah, I thought it was the like, fans, I, and, and, I, I never thought really, it was and then the guys on on my end, they just we just didn't know like where is this coming yeah. from, yeah. you know, and uh, we didn't we didn't know. Plus, plus, we weren't mature to have that discussion. The convo. The convo. We we weren't mature enough as uh, as black men. It's it just it's just um, I think I think right now because we just didn't understand, and uh, a, a lot of stuff happens. When you know a lot of stupid stuff happen when people just don't have an understanding. Sure. Man, I, you weren't saying that. You were saying this. Oh, man, we thought you were saying this. Like, no, I wasn't saying that. You know, but when you come from different places, this means this and this means that. And so I just, I just felt like with wisdom, man, we just, just be quiet and just until God say something, be quiet. And, and you know, and so, um, you know. Uh, some people, one one dude uh, said, "Man, listen to this. He talking about you on here." I was like, "How you? <laughs> he ain't talking about me. What are you talking about? That's, saying, That's not about me, yeah. man. You starting stuff. Yeah. Get out of here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it's it's like uh, I just did what God told me to do and just wrote that the the, the low road. It. And so, um, but look, one K few, yep. is gonna change the world. 
Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And one more after that, one more after that, one more after that. And so uh, it's about uniting the body. It's not not about tearing things apart. And as African-American men, Come we on. definitely Come need on. to stay together. We cannot fight in the body. I mean, you see what's going on around the world. We cannot fight. So, so I wouldn't. I didn't even want to bring that embarrassment on the kingdom. Sure. You know, I didn't even want to go. I was like, Lord, I don't even want to bring the, the, the embarrassment on you. So I don't know what's going on. I'm going to just keep rolling. You got a new EP. Ah. Greatness. Talk about it, man. Uh, it's, it's it's called Greatness, man. Um, That lead single, Won't He Do It. Uh, <laughs> man, it's a... Uh, and you about to make young. I, I was t- I was telling Daniel, my producer, you gonna make young people want to get back in the youth choirs with that hey. record, bro. <laughs> hey, I, I'm I serious, want, as, bro. as a as a pastor, yeah, I had to figure out a way to say, okay, I got all these kids. <clears throat> we got <clears throat> my wife is here. 70, 80 kids as a new. We we we, we launched That's, two years ago. Wow. So we got like 70, 80 kids. Um, this church has been around 50 years and got 70, and, 80 and, kids. And, bro, our kids are, like, they run full speed at the wow. church. Like, like they oh, going. my God. Yeah. From the time they get dropped off. And my kids are a part of that. They just run around. And so I was like, man, let's figure out a way to put church with hip hop, mm-hmm. you know, and um and I know. You the, a couple you're the artists, right person for that. Well, I know. I just know a lot of artists. <laughs> Late, as of late, have been using church choirs. Yep. You know, yep. and so yep. I was like, "Well, man, let me let me do one and, and make it a little grunt, a little dirty." You know what I'm saying? And so uh, we actually was in the studio uh, saying, "Man, you know, what's the church saying that everybody say?" And Hilarious. we ran through all of them. Hilarious. And um and and my guy, um, Abstract, who did the track. Well, we all did the track together, but he had the first part of the track, and um. When we played the track, we was like, there's no way that that could be a church song. Wow. And I was like, oh, no, bro. <laughs> Let's just try it. So it was an experiment. Yeah. And, uh, and man, um, we got uh, most added in the country uh, two weeks ago on, on radio. Um, and um, on gospel radio, that's two weeks ago. Three weeks ago, we were most added in the country on Urban XT. Wow. And so uh, uh, right up under us. Uh, mainstream artists, wow. you know, and That's so massive. Um, I haven't had he do a it? song this progressive in a long time, and so yeah. God is God is awesome. He's faithful, and just just when you thought, well, you know, I've done my time, He pull you back out, you know, and so I'm I'm, I'm on. A, Honestly, feel like you are a musical genius, my brother, and you can oh. do this in your sleep as long as you want, bro. Praise God. Thank I you, honestly, man. Honestly, honestly, I got to keep dying my hat in, bro. Hey, man. <laughs> I don't know about all that, but I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> you got to keep. I got to keep dying my hat. But yeah. I mean, I, I feel like music, man. I feel like there are things that I want to do musically, um, that just experimental uh, music that I want to do, that uh, you know. I, I want to do a band hip hop track. Mm. No, I call it no click track. Okay. Just, just band. Just a straight band. And, and just, you know, see how that comes out. And, and you know, I want to do something with an orchestra. I want to do a piano. Wow. I just want to one record. I just want to sing. You know what I'm saying? One, I want to do a hip hop praise and worship, which I feel like uh, um, won't he do it. Is lead is the, the the first song that's leading over to this yeah, hip hop praise and worship yeah, to show churches how the hip hop generation worships and how we praise God and that you don't have to be afraid of it because you got a lot of these other other people are embracing it just not our churches yep. which is uh, it's crazy it's insane to me it's crazy you know you got you got all of these uh, uh, white churches that embrace hip hop they've been embracing it for years and too. And, and use it. As a tool to minister to their kids, Come and on. we don't. Come on. And I do not understand it. It is yeah. our our form, and I, I I'm like, come on, man. You know what do we need to do to reach the, the youth? Play the beat. It's so simple. <laughs> it's so simple. Play the beat. Play pastor, the beat, pastor. If you want them, if you want them across the street to play come to beat. your church, play the beat. Play the beat. Man, That's listen. it. You know, because doing the organ and playing the drums 
and that's not gonna work and you know it's not gonna work but the whole thing is do I should I change to, to reach the, the loss or should I just complain cuz I'm not reaching the loss and so that's all you have to do play the beat when they hear the beat they're gonna be like the beat is coming from in there you know anyway the Bible says it. the sound of the Lord the sound of the Lord when when Adam and Eve sinned and they ate the fruit and they ran out of the presence of the God, uh, 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 presence of the Lord the Bible says the sound of the Lord was walking in the cool of the day and so the presence of God was represented by sound and so and so at this point everybody has returned back to their sound except us you look at it. Jamaican people right. got Jamaican worship. Yeah. Bahamian people got Bahamian worship. Yeah. White people got rock worship and, and, and rock mainstream. Uh, uh, everywhere around the country, we're the only ones that when you get saved, you got to change your whole sound. Bruh. We're the only ones Bruh. in the whole world that when we get saved, we have to change our whole sound. Golly. Everybody else in the world, every other ethnicity in got the it. world can worship in the mainstream and in 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 uh in uh spiritually with the same sound. Got it, bro. We're the only ones that when you oh no no when you when you get saved you got to change the sound and, and and God gave you a sound so His presence is represented by a sound and everybody has returned back to their sound so you can say I can say to you right now rock white boy pop white girl R and B black girls. That's that's their target audience. Sure. Hip hop, black male. All right, everybody has a rendition of a spiritual sound, but ours is demonized. Mm -hmm. Why is that? We're the only ones, bro. You think about everybody in this in this world. They have a mainstream sound and a spiritual sound to the same thing. And we're the only ones that when you get saved, when you give God your heart, you have to transition your sound. And that is demonic, that is not God. And so when black men learn to worship to their sound, revival, look for it. Hey bro, what's your PayPal? No, don't, don't, we need don't, to take up an offer no, right now do that. for that message <laughs> right now, bro. <laughs> I'm just I saying. Let you finish, that's bro. why I do it. Do what. Keep doing what you do. Keep doing what you're doing, because the culture is getting ready to shift. Because because when the mainstream starts, then they still want to keep their sound. But now they're looking for God. They, there's still a void there. They're gonna start. They, they, whether you call it conscious rap or whatever it is, there is a void that they want to worship with this music. But every time we come with a worship rendition, mainstream black music as a whole demonize the spiritual sound it's the same sound no no you're supposed to sound like this wow and so that's a that's a it's, it's amazing but but it's the it's the it's demonic man it's demonic you don't tell bahamian people to change their sound you don't tell jamaican people to change their sound I've been to Africa. They worship to the same music that that I, we Absolutely. was in the club. It's the same music, same sound, different lyrics. Anyway, I'm sorry about that. Man, but. listen, bro. I don't even know where we go from here, man. <laughs> you know where we going from here? We about to go give you your award up here tonight, oh, brother. Praise God, man. It's honestly, man. What you what you just communicated right here. Bro, that's why you deserve everything that's coming wow. to you, bro. That's Amen. why you got this Stella Award. That's why you getting honored at the Kingdom Choice Awards. And, th and here's the thing, bro. This still just the start, man. Hey, man, I received that. It's still just the start. I received that, man. Yeah, man. I appreciate it, bro. I'm, man, I love you, bro. I love you too. More we, than you know, bro. It's, it's been a long More than you time know, man. coming, way, though. More than you know, Thank brother. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Man, free life. Look, he playing keys right now. Are you playing keys? Hey, look, man. Look, man. I'm about to move to Atlanta and come to free life, man. <laughs> he playing keys right now. Da, da. <laughs> Praise God, man. So, oh, man. Good stuff. Good stuff. Absolutely, man. I appreciate the way, though, man. Yeah, Anytime, man. You, bro. bro. Yes, sir. Everybody lives in I want to thank you in advance. Letting us make it clear to y'all on the Wado Radio Show. Thanks for tuning in to another Wado Radio full interview. This was made possible in part by our affiliate Covenant Eyes. The internet can be a dangerous place for unguarded eyes and hearts. 
Covenant Eyes provides the services that protect against the evils and temptations that can be found on the World Wide Web. Established over a decade ago, Covenant Eyes is the pioneer in internet accountability software, empowering its members to maintain their online integrity. I personally use them on every device that I have. Computer, iPhone, iPad, whole nine yards. Don't go another day without guarding your eyes, your mind, and your heart. Visit waitoradio.com slash resources for more information about Covenant Eyes. And if you sign up via our affiliate link at waitoradio.com slash resources, we'll give you a month free. Covenant Eyes, trusted by thousands of families, including mine. This interview was brought to you by our sponsor, Devin Turner. This MC and pastor is not only putting out great music, but he's doing phenomenal work in his community and abroad. Check out his new album, Luminary, available on all digital outlets. For more info, visit his website at devinturner.org. Thank you for downloading the Wado Radio Podcast. If you love what you're hearing, leave a review on iTunes. We'd love to hear your feedback, and it helps expose others to the show. Thank you, and God bless.